a CCI indicator trader is highlighting CCI trading errors. A CCI indicator trader is highlighting CCI trading errors. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good tag, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TS uh, CCI Pro uh, Traders. And our website is www.dprotraders.com. The title of the video is uh, a CCI indicator trader is highlighting CCI trading uh, errors. Let's get started. All right, here we have uh, the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index Indicator, period 14. This is the red line on my chart here. And as you can see, it's oversold below the negative 100. In fact, uh, the CCI period 14 on this uh, monthly chart is at uh, minus 200. In theory, uh, the Commodity Channel Index is uh, well uh, oversold. All right, because when the CCI is uh, above uh, a positive 100, is considered as overbought. When it is below negative uh, 100, is considered as oversold. And here we can see that it's well uh, below uh, negative 100. It's now at uh, negative 200. In theory, is considered as oversold. So the common uh, CCI trading mistake is uh, to go and buy uh, uh, the stock just because uh, the commodity channel index indicator is oversold, all right? Here, the, the mistake, the fundamental trading mistake that trader will make by just buying because the CCI is oversold or just selling because the CCI is overbought is that uh, traders are buying, okay, the oversold commodity channel index at the wrong place, all right? They are also violating the market pattern, all right? So if we receive a, a bullish signal or we see a bullish uh, commodity channel index uh, trade setup, we want to make sure that uh, that uh, bullish trade setup is uh, at uh, a valid uh, support level or at least at uh, a reliable support level. Okay, so now the first thing first when the CCI is oversold, what we need to do is to check if the price is at a reliable support level. So we can see that the CCI is well below the negative 100. So where is the price now? Okay, we will draw horizontal line there where the price is now. And I'm going to color that line now into red. The first thing first is to ascertain that that level is a support level. So it was the previous high here where my cursor is. Are you with me? This was the previous high and the price break above the previous high. It's retesting in here. Now, as a bullish trader, if you want to buy, we want to assess the risk. All right. So to avoid, uh, okay, the CCI indicator trading mistake, one should use at this point in time a top-down trading method. So you may ask, so what is a top-down trading method? Go to Two Four Stock Trader YouTube channel and check the video that we call what is a top-down trading method or what is a, a multiple time frame trading method. Check the video. What is a, a multiple time frame trading method by Two Four Stock Trader? Okay. So here we should apply a top-down trading method to control the risk. Why? Because we don't know whether the price will continue to fall or whether the price will continue, uh, will change direction here and start going up. Okay? All right? By using a top down trading method here, we can avoid, okay, jumping on in the trade and uh, uh, losing. Okay? But look carefully. Let's analyze this and clarify some of the mistakes that traders are making. So there is a support here, which is uh, this uh, previous high here. But we have another support also here, is uh, which I'm going to call her now uh, into turquoise. Okay, so pay attention to the turquoise line. You see here, is this uh, high here? This high here. Okay. This high here. 
is also a key level on a monthly chart of United Technology Corporation, APIC uh, Uniform Tango s UTX, listed on the Dow 30 index, okay? So the, the Tukwasna is also a support level, but the price now are the red one here. So to avoid the CCI trading mistake here, what we need to do is to check uh, which support level should be a better support level. So we want to see whether this is a, a good oversold CCI or uh, a useless okay, commodity channel uh, oversold trade setup. Okay? So let's look at the red horizontal line. Okay? It's a, so it's a key level. The turquoise line also is a key level. But if you look carefully, which support level uh, is more important, okay? In my view, uh, the turquoise line is more important. Why? Okay, let me explain myself. So you can see first. So, in fact, look, another thing that I said to trader, a common trading mistake, is the violation of a market pattern. So we were first in a rising channel. But look, is the price still in a rising channel? It's not. Okay, it's not in the rising channel. It's out of the rising channel. So if we are buying outside a rising channel, it's a little bit risky. So we can't afford to go and buy anyhow here. Uh, we should use a top-down trading method to control the risk right here. Okay? The next thing, because the price is out of uh, this uh, rising channel, what we need to do? We need to project a channel in the direction of the price. So you see the width of the top blue rising channel. See this blue channel here? Okay. As the price out of it, we project it here. By projecting a channel, we have uh, the, a new channel here between the blue line and this uh, dark green line. Yes, this is our new projected channel. We will also highlight the media line of our projected channel. So, look carefully. Where is the best place to buy this stock if we want to buy it? In my view, it's better to buy the stock somewhere on or near minimum, okay, minimum, somewhere on or near the median line of our projected channel on the edge of the orange line here. That would be a better place. You see, we have an intersection point between an horizontal key level and a, a trend line. This is a better hot spot trading zone compared to where the price is now. It does not mean that the price cannot go up from here, but all I'm saying to you is that there are more risk here, and if we ignore the risk, we can make a trading mistake, a typical commodity channel index a trading mistakes. So when the CCI is oversold, it's warning us that the price has a, a bit of chance to go up. Now we must ascertain that the oversold a trading setup is at a, a reliable support level. So we have a few support level here, and we, if we compare the first support level, which is the red horizontal line, to the turquoise horizontal line, we know that the turquoise horizontal line, especially the intersection point between the media line of our projected channel and the turquoise line, offers a better, okay, a trading setup, a better support levels. Okay, so this will be a better place to buy, okay, United Technology Corporation. All right talking about technical analysis, all right? Look carefully again. We can see also, if you analyze the chart again, you can see that there was a bullish progression, and then the price pulled back, and then the price rallied up to this point here, okay? Now, here, what do we see? The price was going up. The price failed to display a new higher high. Why is it telling us? is telling us that the bullish momentum is diminishing. So there was a bullish progression first. There was a rise in channel. Now the price fell. First thing, price fell to display new high high, telling us that the bullish momentum is diminishing. Now, not only that, the price is also out of uh, the rising channel. So it's not looking very bullish. Doesn't mean that it cannot go up. 
If you want to buy here, we need to be careful. Another thing we need to consider here is that when you are buying here, we are quite close to a resistance level, which is the edge of this blue line here. So you see here, even this candle here, you see it came here, it went up a bit, some uh, oversold traders bought it, it went up a bit. As it came near the blue line, they sold it back down and it closed below the opening price. So this is a risky oversold uh, CCI okay, trade setup, okay? All right? So by using, uh, okay, the market geometry, which is a, a projection of a channel, we can highlight the best oversold and overbought uh, CCI trade setup. An oversold at the intersection point between this uh, turquoise line and the orange line will offer us a less risk in comparison to the current uh, price trade setup, okay? This one here, all right? If you are trading here, there are more risks but we, must, we can use a top-down trading method to control the risk if we decided to trade it here. But another trader may be patient who allow the price to come near this point here and, uh, and then trade it from here. There is a high chance that the price will continue to go down up to the green spot here and then bounce up a bit to retest the edge of, uh, of the trend line here before going back down. Okay, it makes sense? Let's look at it from a different angle. We are talking about, uh, okay, a CCI indicator trader is highlighting a CCI trading errors. Okay, let's remove uh, some of my line, okay? And I want to use uh, the pitchfork tool. If we are trading this commodity channel index indicator, we must use, okay, market geometry, which is uh, the projection of channel, and we must also use, okay, the pitchfork tool. All right, this will help us to identify the best overbought and oversold zone. So this time I'm going to use pitchfork tool. Three points we need to use to select, to, 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 to use uh, the pitchfork tool. If you want to know more about pitchfork tool trading, uh, check, um, okay, Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. Okay, so first point, this is the first point I choose from a pitchfork tool. And uh, this is the second point, and the third point is here, three points we need to use. And then we drag uh, this session to the second point, and this session to the third point. So in order to see my uh, pitchfork tool, I will color it now into green. Can you see my pitchfork tool now? All right, this is my pitchfork tool. One, two, three. All right, the median line of my pitchfork tool is here. So once again, if you look carefully here, the lower part of my pitchfork tool is along this uh, green line here. Okay, bringing us again, if you look carefully here, there is again an intersection point between my pitchfork tool, the lower part of my pitchfork tool, and the turquoise horizontal line. Again, our hot spot trading zone is pointing to this zone here. The intersection point between the orange, the turquoise, and the green uh, lines. Okay, you see here? This is pointing to a better hot spot trading zone in comparison to where the price is now. But if you look at what has happened already, the price is telling us that the bullish momentum is diminishing. And the price is also out of the rising channel, our blue rising channel. If you project the channel, we will, we will prefer to buy at least, if you want to attempt to buy, okay, if, even if you draw another key level here, I have too many lines, so what I will do now, I will uh, remove my pitchfork tool. So you see now, yeah, the pitchfork tool. So let's remove the pitchfork tool. So we have less line, I also remove uh, my moving average, okay. So now we see clearly now, okay, the first channel, the second channel, and the median line of our second channel. If we draw again, again, any time you want to buy or sell because the CCI is oversold or overbought, highlight the key levels, okay, on a trade on a trading setup time frame. 
So there's another kid over here. You see the price change that I see here, change that I see here. If I call out that line now, okay. I'm running out of, uh, I put it uh, in yellow. Can you see yellow? Hope you can see yellow on my chart. Okay, the yellow line is another key level here. Okay, so if uh, that uh, hot uh, spot trading zone, which is the intersection point, fell, we need to watch, okay, the, all, the, the yellow line right below it. I would prefer intersection point in comparison to the red horizontal line. It is not because the CCI is overbought, oversold that we should uh, buy by all means. If the CCI is oversold and we want to buy, we must use a top-down trading method. Because I'm on the monthly chart, I'm one example of multiple time frame trading method from the monthly chart. I will use the monthly chart as my trading setup, the daily chart for my signal, and the hourly chart for my entry. I can pinpoint more my entry going down all the way to the one minute time frame and three minute time frame. But generally, we can combine the monthly yearly, the monthly chart for the trading setup, the daily chart for the signal, and the hourly chart for the entry. You see now? All right? The opposite is also true when the CCA is overbought. We want to highlight the key levels. Is he overbought at the key resistance level? Check what the price has done before. Okay, so looking at the price itself, we can say that we have a, a okay, B, all right, C, okay, D chart pattern with a double top at the top here. The double top is a bearish chart pattern, all right, very often will take place at the key resistance zone. So because we are a monthly chart, we see a double top, we need to check on the, for instance, on the yearly chart, why we have a resistance there. Now we can't see any resistance on the yearly chart. We can use Fibonacci extension to find out hidden support and resistance level if there is no visible resistance level. Here we have to use Fibonacci extension to determine hidden resistance level. All right, it makes sense? So to summarize this video, talking about a CCI indicator trader is highlighting CCI trading mistakes. We don't want to violate the market pattern, okay? Now we are on the monthly chart, all right? The market pattern was bullish, now the price out of the, 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 the channel, okay? All right? It's so out of the channel. Not only that, we have a double top. It's bearish, okay? It's bearish. If we are attempting to buy here, we need to be very, very careful. We can't just go now and buy anyhow. That will be just a speculation. The best approach as a professional trader, we must use a top-down trading method, okay, to manage the trade here. By assessing the risk, we see that it's better to look for opportunity to buy somewhere on or near the intersection point between the turquoise line and the media line of our projected channel. The same verification has been confirmed when we place, uh, okay, the pitchfork tool on our chart. So using market geometry and pitchfork tool, we will be able to pinpoint the best oversold and the best overbought CCI indicator trading setup. All right. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please give us the thumbs down. If you love it, please feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you love our video, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be a very happy we are the ts we are the ts uh, RS, we are the ts cci pro traders talking about a cci indicator trader is highlighting cci trading errors if you have any comment put in the comment section if you have any question put in the comment section if you have uh, any suggestion, put in the comment section. You want us to talk about another aspect of trading the CCI or the Commodity Channel Index Indicator, put in the comment section, and we will record other video to clarify your question. Happy trading to you all, and I speak to you uh, very soon. We are the TS CCI Pro uh, Traders.